Here are four incredible text effects you can easily create using CapCut. These effects are sure to elevate your videos and captivate your audience. Let's start with two easy effects. First, the text shadow effect. CapCut does have out of the box the option to add a shadow to text. Just scroll down in the properties panel and turn on shadow. You get some options to fine tune the shadow to your liking. Even though this works quite well, let's make our own shadow which in my opinion looks much better. First, I'll make a copy of the current text by Alt or Option dragging it in the timeline. I'm going to do that one more time so that we have two copies of the text. The bottom text will act as our shadow. I'll change the fill color to black and slightly move it to the bottom right. We now have a very hard shadow. In order to make it softer, we need to blur the black text. Sadly, CampCut does not allow to apply effects on text clips. As a workaround, I'm going to add a white fill layer below it from the media library and make sure it fills the canvas by scaling it up. We can now select the white fill and the black text. With both selected, right click and choose create compound clip. Let's open up the effects tab and go to the lens section. Here we can use the blur effect on the compound clip we just created. Adjust the blur size to what you like. And as a final step, we need to change the blend mode of this compound clip to multiply. With the multiply blend mode, whites will disappear and the blacks will come through, which is exactly what we need. Let's compare it with the built-in shadow. And here is our own shadow. I think the one we created looks much better. By the way, this technique can also be applied to mask videos as well. The second effect is very similar, but instead of creating a shadow, we'll create a glow. Just like as the shadow, CapCut does have a built-in glow option for text. Scroll down in the properties panel of the text clip and enable glow. Set the glow color and the properties and you got yourself a quick nice glow effect. But let's create a custom glow which will look much cooler. The steps are very similar to the shadow process. I'll make two copies of the text clip and change the color of the bottom clip to our glow color. Instead of adding a white fill below the text, this time we are going to add a black fill and make sure it fills the canvas. Now let's select the fill and the bottom text clip. You might have guessed it, we are going to create a compound clip. Now from the effects tab, to get the glow, we can apply the edge glow effect to the compound clip. And we got ourselves a nice glow around the text. To make the black background disappear, we need to set the blend mode of the compound clip to screen. The screen blend mode hides the black color and keeps the bright colors, which is ideal for the glow. We can adjust the glow intensity by adjusting the edge glow properties. Pretty cool. If we compare it with the built-in glow, notice how our custom glow effect looks much more natural. Our third effect is the knockout text or the see-through text effect. This is going to be super easy. Let's first move out the text clip higher in the hierarchy so that we can add that black fill below it. As always, make sure the fill covers the whole canvas. We can now select both of them and use them to create a compound clip. If we change the blend mode of the compound clip to multiply, we get the knockout effect. The video below will play inside the text. You can now apply animation or effects to the compound clip to create interesting results. But what if we want to show the clip inside the text on top of another clip? So I have this text on top of a video. I want this clip to be showed inside the text and also want to show the clip below. Here is some voodoo CapCut magic for you. Duplicate the text, add a black fill and make sure it fills the whole canvas. Now let's make sure that the text is above the black fill layer and has white as the fill color. Now move the clip you want to be in the text above the text. Change the blend mode of the video clip to multiply. The clip will now only be shown inside the text, but we still have a black background, 
To fix that, let's select the three clips and use them to create a compound clip. Make sure the compound clip is above the initial black text we started with. Change the blend mode to screen or brighten. And like magic, the black has disappeared and we got the effect we're looking for. Video inside text on top of another video. As mentioned earlier, all the methods can also be applied not only to text but any object or mask video you have. Thanks again for watching and I hope you learned something new today. Until the next video.